بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریگارڈنگ دا ہولی قرآن دا مس کنسیپشن آئی لائک ٹو برنگ ان اے ڈسکشن ٹو ڈے ٹو لیٹ دا بلیسنگ آف ریڈنگ سورہ انفال ناؤ ان دس ریگارڈ از جسٹ ون ٹیکسٹ وچ از پرائمرلی رپورٹیڈ ہاؤ ایور ہیز ڈفرینٹ چینج آف نریشن رپورٹیڈ ان ویریس بکس بٹ بفور آئی ریڈ آؤٹ بفور آئی ڈسکس دیز چینج آف نریشن لیٹ می فرسٹ ریڈ آؤٹ دس دا ٹیکسٹ آف دس نریٹو بفور یو اینڈ آئی ووڈ آلسو لائک ٹو کلیریفائی دس دس ٹیکسٹ آلسو ریلیٹ ٹو سورہ تھوبا سورہ برا وچ از دا ویری نیکسٹ سورہ فالوئنگ سورہ انفال So uh, this narrative is primarily report, is reported in all these three changes of narration by uh, Ubayy ibn Kaabri ta'ala anhu from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So before I comment on the changes of narration, let me read out the text and its translation. So the words are, مَنْ كَرَى سُورَةَ الْأَنْفَالِ وَبَرَى فَأَنَا لَهُ شَفِيٌ وَشَاهِدٌ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ أَنَّهُ بَرِيٌ مِنَ النِّفَاقِ وَأُعْطِيَ مِنَ الْأَجْرِ بِعَدَدِ كُلِّ مُنَافِقٍ وَمُنَافِقَةٍ فِي دَارِ الدُّنْيَا اشر حسنات و مہ انہ اشر سیات و یورف الح اشر درجات و کان الرش و حمل یوسل علیہ ایام حیات ہی فی دار دنیا وچ مین از اے پرسن ہو ریسائٹ سور انفال اینڈ سور تھوبا دین پروفٹ سی دیٹ آئی شیل بی ہیز انٹرسیسر اینڈ دا وٹنس اینڈ وٹنس ٹو دا فیکٹ دیٹ ہی از ہی از ناٹ اے ہیپوکریٹ دس وٹنس دا پروفٹ سی ایل گیو دس وٹنس آن دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ اینڈ دا فیکٹ از دیٹ For every hypocrite woman and man found in this earth, uh, for each of these, the Almighty uh, will grant him the reward of ten pious deeds. And for each of these, he will delete ten of his sins uh, from his account. And for each of these, he he'll, shall raise his status by ten positions. And the throne and people and, and those who uh, are, bear the throne, they shall pray for that person as long as he is alive on this earth. Uh, I should like to point this out that this narrative, as it is reported in Al-Wasit and, and in Salabi's Tafsir, in, uh, it is reported to be concocted and regarded to be concocted by Hafiz ibn Hajar. And the reason for this is the existence of two extremely weak narrators. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, Harun ibn Kasir, whom Abu Hatim says that he is majhul. And the other one is Salam ibn Sulaim al-Madaini, about whom Hafiz Mizzi has the following recorded in his Tazib al-Kamal. Uh, the words are... Uh, Uh, of Yahya ibn Ma'in are laysa bi shay and in other opinion ascribed to him is za'ifun la yuktabu hadithuhu similarly Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Ammar al-Musri says that he is laysa bi hujja and Ibrahim bin Yaqub al-Juzjani regards him to be uh, to be ghayr al-siqa Abu Zura and Abu Hatim say that he is za'if Imam Bukhari and uh, Imam uh, Imam Bukhari Imam Nasai and Abdurrahman bin Yusuf bin Khiraj say that he is matru similarly Imam Nasai also says that he is laysa bi siqa wa la yuktabu hadithuhu And Abu al-Qasim al-Baghavi says that he is Za'if al-Hadith Chittan. And Abdul Rahman bin Yusuf bin Khirash also says that he is Ghazal, he's a great liar. So we can see why, how on the basis of this information, Hafiz ibn Hajar says that this narrative is concocted. Uh, if these chains of narration which are reported in, in, in Salvi's Tafsir and, and Wasid, which is Wahidi's Tafsir, if they are considered. Now as far as its two other chains of narration are concerned, they are reported by, uh, they are recorded by Ibn al-Jawzi in his Al-Mawzu'at, which of course is a collection of fabricated narratives. And the reason for its weakness or the fact that it has been regarded as concocted is again the existence of two extremely weak narrators. But let me first uh, delineate before you the, these two chains of narration the, or the details of these two ch- chains of narration separately. The first of these contains Badi ibn Hibban, Uh, who is regarded to be matruq by Imam Dar Kutni and also it contains uh, Ali ibn Zayd ibn Judran ab- about whom I'll just uh, narrate before you the comments of our Rajal authorities. The second chain of narration also contains Ali ibn Zayd ibn Judran and it also contains Makhlad ibn Abdul Wahid. So let me f- uh, now uh, describe before you the comments of our Rajal authorities regarding these two personalities. Uh, half, uh, uh, Makhlad ibn Abdul Wahid about him Abu Hatim says that he is Zayf al-Hadith And Ibn Hibban says that he is Munkar al-Hadith Jiddan. And as far as Ali ibn Zayd ibn Judan is concerned, uh, Hafiz Mizzi has recorded the following uh, jara on him in his Tazib al-Kamal. Uh, Saleh ibn Ahmad, ibn, uh, or let me just first uh, describe the views of Ahmad ibn, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Uh, and there are more than one views described, uh, ascribed to him regarding Ali ibn Zayd ibn Judan. Thus, for example, he says that he is uh, Laysa bil Qawi, Laysa bil Shay, and Zayf al-Hadith. And similarly, Yahya ibn Ma'in also has more than one opinion about him, which is, uh, which is ascribed to him. Thus, for example, he says, لَيْسَ بِزَاقَ الْكَوِي زَعِيف زَعِيفٌ فِي كُلِّ شَيْءٍ لَيْسَ بِشَيْءٍ and لَيْسَ بِحُجَّةٍ Similarly, uh, Ibrahim ibn Yaqub al-Juzjani says that he is wahil hadith, zarif and la yuhtajjubihi. Imam Abu Zura says that he is لَيْسَ بِالْقَوِي 
and uh, Imam Nasai and Hafiz ibn Hajar say that he is Zai. So, on the basis of this information, we can clearly see why Ibn al Jawzi has recorded this narrative in his Al Mawzu'at, which, as I said earlier on, is a collection of fabricated and concocted narratives. So, all in all, uh, this narrative has absolutely no basis. It is not uh, ascribed to the Prophet Muhammad. Sallam. It is wrongly ascribed to him. People have fabricated it, they have concocted it. As far as reaping the blessings of a surah is concerned, the best way to go about it is to understand that surah. And that can only be done if we read that surah with a good translation, if we are not able to understand the Arabic. So we must read the surah with a good translation to understand it. And that is what will make us have a living relationship with that surah. We will be able to understand what the Almighty has to say to us. And this is of paramount importance. Aqulu qawli hadha, astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisaril muslimina wal muslimat.